MS-9001E gas turbine training. This video will describe the main components of the gas turbine and its functional description. This gas turbine is also known as PG-9171E or downstream. The shaft of this gas turbine rotates at 3,000 RPM counterclockwise as viewed looking downstream. This gas turbine consists of the following main components. The compressor, the combustion system, the turbine, the exhaust assembly, the bearings, the compressor is a 17 stages axial flow compressor with variable inlet guide vanes. Air is compressed to a pressure ratio of 12 to 1. Each stage consists of a set of rotating blades and set of stator stationary blades. Compression is achieved in each stage as the rotating blades increase the relative velocity of the air. Then, the stator stationary blades convert the gained kinetic energy into a pressure rise and guide air to enter the following stage at the proper angle. The compressor consists of two major components, the compressor rotor and the compressor stator. The compressor rotor has 17 stages of rotating blades. It is assembled of 15 individual wheels and two stub shafts. All wheels are held together with 16 tie bolts and nuts. The forward stub shaft is machined to provide the following features. Thrust collar, which carries the axial downstream and upstream thrust forces to prevent rotor axial movements. Journal surface for bearing number one and surfaces for oil and air seals. Forward balancing groove to add balancing weights for vibration control. Forward flange to connect the gas turbine shaft to the auxiliary gearbox. A speed ring with 60 teeth is attached to the forward flange for speed measurements and protection. The aft stub shaft is machined to provide the following features. A fan is machined on the forward side of the stub shaft. This fan draws air through the gap between the 16th wheel and the aft stub shaft to cool the turbine rotor parts. Aft balancing groove. Aft flange to connect the compressor rotor to the turbine rotor. Labyrinth teeth to mate with compressor stator parts to prevent compressor discharge air from escaping inside the inner barrel around bearing number two. The compressor rotor blades are airfoil shaped and are attached to the wheels by means of dovetail arrangement. The first wheel blades are mounted on the wheel portion of the forward stub shaft and they have only aft spacers, while the next 15 wheel blades have forward and aft spacers. The 17th stage blades are mounted on the wheel portion of the aft stub shaft and they have only forward spacers. These spacers are placed to maintain the relative position between the rotor and the stator blades. Rotor blades are held in axial position by staking at both blue painted section lit casing to prevent suction of contaminants into the compressor. Variable inlet guide vanes are located at the aft end of the inlet casing. The function of these guide vanes is to control the amount of airflow across the compressor. The total number of the inlet guide vanes is 64 blades. Each blade stem is inserted into a hole machined on the inlet casing. Each four of them are supported from below by one inner segment. A pinion gear is installed to each blade stem and is keyed into position. These pinions are rotated by a ring gear which is assembled to the control ring. The control ring is positioned by a hydraulic actuator to obtain the desired inlet guide vane's opening angle. 
The opening angle for this gas turbine ranges from 34 to 84 degrees. The forward casing contains the first four compressor stator vanes. The lower half is equipped with two trunnions, used with other trunnions on the turbine shell, to lift the gas turbine to or off the turbine base. It also features a mounting point for the forward turbine support plate. The aft casing contains the fifth to the tenth compressor stator vanes. A groove is machined at the forward face around the fifth wheel blades, where air is extracted for cooling and sealing functions through two ports in the upper half and two on the lower half. Another groove is machined around the 11th wheel blades, where air is extracted for surge protection during transient operation. The discharge casing is the final portion of the compressor casings. Being the largest single casting, it is the keystone of the gas turbine structure. It connects the compressor to the turbine section and supports the combustion system. The discharge casing contains the last seven stages of compressor vanes and two rows of exit guide vanes. The discharge casing consists of outer and inner cylinders. These inner and outer cylinders are connected by means of 12 struts. These struts flare out to meet the large diameter of the turbine shell while providing spacing for transition pieces in between. The inner cylinder is extended to the forward side by the inner barrel. The inner and outer cylinders of the discharge casing form the compressor diffuser, which converts some of the kinetic energy of the compressed air into a pressure rise. At the forward end of the inner barrel, a honeycomb seal is installed to mate with the labyrinth teeth on the aft stub shaft. A brush seal is running against the rotor's smooth surface. This arrangement is also known as the high pressure packing. The function of this arrangement is to control the amount of compressed air leakage inside the inner barrel. This air, despite being used to cool the first forward wheel space, the amount should be minimized to improve unit efficiency and minimize air leakage inside bearing two seals. The lower half of the inner cylinder supports the bearing number two and provides the opening for the lube oil supply and drain piping. The upper half of the inner cylinder has an opening for the vent pipe. Seals are installed at these openings to prevent compressed air from escaping inside the inner cylinder. The discharge casing also supports the turbine first stage nozzles. The first stage nozzle support ring is mounted on the aft end of the inner cylinder. The stationary vanes of the compressor are also airfoil shaped. The blades of the first eight stages are mounted by dovetail arrangement to ring segments. These ring segments are inserted into circumferential grooves on the casing. The blades of the last nine stages have a square base dovetail and are inserted directly into the circumferential grooves on the casing. Two rows of exit guide vanes are located at the end of the compressor. These stationary vanes help in reducing the rotation of the airflow and increasing the pressure. The combustion system of this gas turbine is a reverse flow type with 14 DLN1 can annular combustion chambers arranged around the periphery of the compressor discharge casing. Combustion chambers are numbered counterclockwise as viewed looking downstream starting from the vertical center line. With dual fuel capability, this turbine burns either gas fuel or liquid fuel. In this section, the pressurized compressor discharge air 
is directed upstream to enter the combustion zone, mixed and burned with fuel, producing hot gases, which will drive the turbine.